Greetings to all of you goddesses and the men who adore them. I am Queenie, the publisher of ConquerHim.com. We celebrate the beauty of female-led relationships. So I'm so excited to present another lesson for you tonight. Um, we're going to talk about a very important question. Can you have a female-led relationship without the kink? Hmm. That's a very hot topic, very controversial, because so many people are passionate about this answer. So I'll give you my take, the official stance of ConquerHim.com. And if you join the site, subscribe and take our female-led relationship training course, these are some of the principles that you will be taught. What is a female-led relationship? A female-led relationship is a relationship wherein the woman's happiness and satisfaction is the priority. The man ensures that she is well taken care of and treated like a goddess, and she leads their relationship and family toward greatness by using her wisdom and leadership skills. Well, what is kink? Kink is what the outer society calls unusual sexual behavior. Nearly everyone has a kink, but most people are seeking the approval of society so they don't express it openly or ever admit to it. So kinks can be things like a foot fetish, a desire to be dominated or to be controlled. If you have a secret sexual desire that you feel a little ashamed of, there are probably many others who share it. And that would be your kink. So can you have a female led relationship without kink? Most people believe that you need kink in order to participate in a female led relationship because kink means a deviant sexual desire and a female led relationship is not normal. So they automatically consider an FLR to be a kink, but it's not an FLR. is just a relationship with a different type of standard set and expectation set at the beginning. There's nothing deviant about it, although it could be called unusual, but it doesn't have to involve sex. So that's why I don't believe that female led relationships are actually kinky. They can involve kink, but they don't have to involve kink. And let me explain a little bit more. So most people will believe that a female led relationship cannot be implemented without kink. These people are blinded by their idea of what a FLR really is. They confuse FLR with female domination, which is a type of BDSM relationship that may or may not result in a long-term committed relationship. A FLR is designed for a long-term loving commitment between two people. That's it. If you're not trying for something long-term and permanent, then this FLR dynamic is not for you. A FLR, a female-led relationship is whatever the woman wants the relation to be, relationship to be like. It's up to her to decide what kind of lifestyle she wants to enjoy. And it's up to the man who loves her to help her create that lifestyle with his service, attention, and devotion. Well, when most people ask if they can have a FLR or female-led relationship without kink, they're really asking if they have to be a brutal dominatrix to enjoy a female led relationship. The answer is simple. No, you do not have to be a brutal dominatrix and force a man to bend to your whims in order to enjoy a female led relationship. You can be loving, kind, sweet and encouraging to your partner and still enjoy a female led relationship. In fact, you should. You do not need to be mean to a man in order to be a part of a female-led relationship. You do not need to whip him or spank him or force him into submission in order to be a part of a female-led relationship. You do not need to make him wear a chastity belt or withhold sex from him. You do not need to be his fantasy. You do need to know what you want your relationship to be like. That is fundamental. You have to have a vision for how you want to be treated in order to um, have someone else be able to meet those expectations. You do need to be aware that you are a leader and you will have to make decisions and you will have to be responsible for the success of the direction of the relationship. You do need to hold your partner accountable for meeting your needs. 
You can't just express your needs and then expect them to just automatically do it every single time. You have to check up on him. You have to praise him when he's doing a good job and you have to offer repercussions if he's not so that he'll know that you care. You do need to understand that a truly loving FLR is based on the man's commitment to ensuring that you are happy and satisfied. If his commitment to you is based on your ability to perform kinky activities or dominate or control him, then he is really a better match for a female domination or femdom relationship where the woman enforces her control through various tactics. Most women use kink as a part of their FLR because men may say that they want to be submissive, but they often require someone to make them be submissive. They want to have, they want to fear the woman. They want to feel controlled. They want to feel as though they have no other choice. For some men, this is their kink. But this is not the type of man you are looking for if you want to create a loving female-led relationship. A truly submissive man who is perfect for you and your loving female-led relationship that you are creating will gain satisfaction from pleasing you without any kinks or sexual deprivation. You don't have to force him. You don't have to beg him. You don't have to plead. You don't have to punish, 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 punish to make him um, align with what you want. If you are doing any of those things, then you are actively involved in a femdom relationship, not a loving female-led relationship. There are men out there who want to serve you and want to see you prosper and want to see you happy. And they don't really need anything in return other than the satisfaction of knowing that they are a part of your happiness. Uh, many of the men that I interview, they say that um, disappointing the woman they love hurts them to their core. That's all the punishment that they need. They don't need any strict rules. They don't need a whip. They just want to make sure that the woman that they love is is equipped with everything that she needs to become the woman of her dream and live the lifestyle of her dreams. That is a loving female-led relationship. It can involve kink if the woman wants it to involve kink. But if you're in a relationship where, the, where, the, where your partner is forcing you to offer his kinks, or if he will not relate to you or have a relationship with you unless you offer him his kinks, then that is not a loving female-led relationship. That is a femme-dom relationship, which you can also enjoy. But that is not what we're promoting or teaching on ConquerHim.com. So I just told you a little bit about kink and FLR and how they kind of interplay with each other. Make sure you leave a comment to let me know if you understand. If you have a question, you can also leave a comment. Please join ConquerHim.com. Subscribe. And if you are a woman in need of support, you want to learn more about how to get a man to really respect you or you're in a relationship and you're having a bit of a problem, you know, trying to figure out how to structure your female led relationship, how to build your confidence, what kind of things you can do to help him to better serve you. Join our female led relationship training program. It's so much fun. It's four weeks. Visit conquerhim.com for the details. I am Queenie, the publisher of conquerhim.com. And I am so excited that you joined me tonight. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.